Cloud Vision supports several models of configuration management on your infrastructure. The first of these are static configments. These are configuration commands which are entered into uh, Cloud Vision, which will be pushed to a switch. However, they are limited in that they are not dynamic in any way. The next evolution were config configlet builders, which allow for Python programming to generate specific configuration per switch with some limited user input. The next evolution of that are studios. <clears throat> All work within studios must occur within a workspace. So first we must create a new workspace. Give it a descriptive name. The second thing to note is that all devices which you want to utilize studios on must be onboarded within the studios framework. We do that in, in the inventory and topology studio. By entering this studio, we can click the add updates tab. We can select the device we want to add, add it into studios, and then we must, once it's saved, review and submit this workspace. We are modifying or working on spine one. However, we are not making any configuration changes onto the switch. This change is purely within Cloud Vision in the Studios framework itself. Submit the workspace. And now that device is onboarded into Studios. That workspace that we used has now been submitted and can no longer be edited, so further work within Studios must be done in a new uh, workspace. You can see that there are multiple built-in Studios, and in this week's newsletter, we talk about how to create a new custom-built Studio. We are going to utilize one of these Studios now. Create a new workspace. and we enter into the studio that we want to use. Studios must be applied specifically to devices, and to do so, we can use tags. Tags can be created manually using this tab tags link on the left. We are going to use the device tag, which is simply the device's host name. This tag is created automatically when we onboarded the device. We can select spine one, Press the comma key and spine 2. This studio will now apply to both spine 1 and spine 2. Clicking this right arrow here will allow us to see the interfaces that exist on spine 2. Now these interfaces are pulled dynamically from Cloud Vision. There's no user interaction needed. And in this studio, we can set a port description. on port 3 here. Notice it saves automatically. Once the studio is saved, we can review the workspace. Reviewing the workspace will build the new config configuration configlets. You notice there are some changes here based on the fact that we set a port description and we did not have port descriptions on these further interfaces. We can review the changes that are going to be applied to our switches. Once we are satisfied with the changes that are going to be made in the infrastructure, we can submit the workspace. Now this submission does not push any changes to the end device. However, a change control is made which can then be executed uh, during whichever maintenance window you require. This change control is similar to other change controls that happen within Cloud Vision. We can review it. Again, we see the configuration changes that are going to be made to the switch. We can approve and then further execute the change control. This will push the changes to the end switch, setting the port descriptions that we put in as required. And there we go. The change has been committed into studios. 
has been created, has been pushed to the switches and configuration is now complete.